It's clear that if we want our children to achieve at school, every head teacher of a primary school should make the teaching of reading their core avowed purpose. Every child should become a proficient reader, with no exceptions. Reading is such an essential life skill and fundamental to the whole curriculum. Indeed, a child's future attainment can be linked back to their levels of literacy, and often so can their behaviour. Ofsted now has evidence that when children are taught to read using synthetic phonics instruction, both systematically and with fidelity to a programme, all children learn to read. And the sooner children learn to read, the sooner they're able to read the wonderful stories and poems their teacher has read to them for themselves. The ability to read early has an exponential effect on all future learning. This is why our school inspections focus on how well reading is taught. It's really encouraging to see so many primary schools that we inspected this year are now prioritising early reading. Many head teachers recognise the need for a leading, reading lead and most importantly they give the reading leader time to coach teachers to become experts. These head teachers make sure there's enough time for the teaching of phonics and reading and writing every day. In these schools, teachers understand that pupils, at whatever age, can only access the meaning of a text if they can read it both accurately and speedily. Some head teachers encourage teachers to have a wide knowledge of children's literature. Teachers from nursery to year six are reading aloud to their pupils every day, increasing children's knowledge and love of stories, rhymes, poems, as well as non-fiction. They keep reading aloud even when the children can read for themselves. But to get reading right, it's important that teachers use a well-structured phonics programme. These programmes support teachers to match the letter sound correspondence that children have learnt to the books so that the children gain sufficient practice to become confident and accurate readers. Reading should not be a guessing game. This is dispiriting for all children, but doubly disadvantages children from homes where they receive little support. Unfortunately, many of our lost readers in Key Stage 2 have suffered from a legacy of poor phonics teaching and poorly matched books from which to practice their reading. Their curriculum quickly narrows because they can't read the range of books necessary for them to widen their knowledge across the curriculum. In the outstanding schools we've seen, leaders instill a sense of urgency in teaching the lowest 20% of pupils to read. In both Key Stage 1 and 2, these lowest 20% of pupils are really focused on so that they can make progress. Teachers don't expect these struggling readers to attempt books that include words they can't yet read. Reading leaders have sufficient expertise in teaching phonics and enough time to do their job properly. They ensure that all staff have a thorough understanding of their school's chosen phonics programme. Importantly, they can spot the children who haven't grasped what's being taught and then support them straight away. Once children are reading accurately and confidently, teachers guide their independent reading choices. This starts to instil the love of reading that we want to see in all schools. Our new Initial Teacher Education our ITE inspection framework was also introduced earlier this year. This new framework aims to address the recurring issues we've seen by making sure primary and early years ITE inspections include a focused review on early reading and phonics. This is to make sure that teachers are really well prepared in teaching reading once they get into schools. The inspections look at whether trainees learn to teach early reading using systematic synthetic phonics and are taught a consistent approach to teaching reading instead of conflicting methods. The COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting disruption to schools and early years settings this year 
will have had undoubtedly had an impact on children's development, particularly in learning phonics. Good reading skills are so fundamental and they are such a basis for wider learning. So it will be even more important for schools to prioritise the teaching of early reading and phonics. Most of all, we'll need to make sure that all children who have fallen behind this year have the right support in place to get them on the right track to becoming proficient readers.